Alright, so in this week's video, I'm going to go over how to do material takeoffs in Revit. Um, this isn't necessarily a topic that I think will be super helpful in this class, at least uh, going off of what we've learned thus far, but when you guys get into the capstone class, this will be something that could be pretty beneficial when it comes time to do some material takeoffs for your estimate. So in order to do this, you're going to come to the view tab and then you'll come to schedules and there's this little tab you can see it's called material takeoff so you'll click this and you know this is where you can kinda of select alright I only want to do this particular material at this time so you'll select it or not as you can see the name will change but for this I kinda of want to do a multi-category material takeoff so that we can kind of get a bunch of it done all at once and if you wanted to you could even come up with like a custom material takeoff so to do that you would type a new name so I'm just going to call this multi-element material And also it's got the option to do a takeoff of what's existing or new construction, which is pretty cool because then you can kind of, I mean, once you've done your modeling on what's going to be new construction, you don't necessarily have to pull all your materials from the entire project. You can do new construction only, which is going to give you a pretty good basis to go off of for materials for, you know, whatever it is, the tenant improvement or an addition, whatever it may be. And then you can also do that with the existing. I can't really think of a super beneficial use for that, but I guess it's there. So we'll just stick with new construction because all of this is new construction. Now I'll click OK. And then, as you can see, it brings up this um, prompt deal. And this is where you kind of select which materials or what objects in the model you're going to actually create a schedule for. So for this, I'm going to do families and types. I guess I should probably bring in things like my cabinets and whatever. Um, finishes. Um, my jams, I guess I'll bring those in. Uh, I don't necessarily have any like specific manufacturers in this project, I don't think. So I'll probably leave that out. The one I do want is material, and I want material area, and um, probably leave as paint out for now. Um, probably don't need volume. Um, I'll probably leave opening heights and widths out, but I could see how this would be something pretty beneficial for, you know, like your framer who's trying to leave rough openings for windows and doors. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to include right now. Uh, I believe there was a material name, yeah. So I will also include material name. And then if I come to filter, I'm not going to do any filtering, but I guess you can come in and filter by which materials. Um, I think I do want to do some sorting and grouping so this will just control which order your schedule takeoff or I guess your your material takeoff will be in. So um, I'm gonna do the material name first. I'm gonna select header and footer and blank line and then I'm gonna do material area and again I'm gonna click header and footer and blank line as well and then let's go for the 
family and type their footer blank and then jam footer footer okay. and I'm not really sure if there's a way to continue the sorting but as you can see it just gives you these few options I'm not perfect at this yet so I'm still kind of learning about it but formatting you can come in here and you can kind of you can decide if you how you want your heading orientation what the alignment is all these different things and then appearance this is just like some appearance stuff obviously that you could change but for the sake of this I'll just leave it so I'm gonna click OK and as you can see it has populated this schedule and this didn't turn out quite like I was hoping so actually this works out kinda well because I guess I mean the information is still gonna be here I just wouldn't prefer this uh, format per se I've used other formats before that appear better and easier to read but as you can see it's got your different wall types so this looks like and these are kinda like Excel where there's cells and you can actually open them up and it'll actually show you more information so as you can see here basic wall exterior apparently of this particular type I have four square feet um, yeah so the list just goes on not sure if there's a way to edit this after you've done it yeah there's a way so you can actually come back in after the fact and change some of these things so I'm just gonna deselect a bunch of this stuff and just see what it changes I'm still kind of experimenting with this stuff, but I just figured it would be a cool video topic that could be beneficial in the future. So I'm going to see what that does now. Okay. So this is, I would actually prefer this way of formatting. This looks a little bit better and easier to read to me. So it's kind of got, it's got all your wall types in order, the different windows, your cabinets doors and it even goes all the way down to the handles I don't necessarily have the right parameters I guess for like account for um, handles or something so it's just kind of giving me a square footage thing but I feel like I could add some other stuff in that would make that beneficial but anyway yeah there's a good way to pull some quick material take off without having to take your project documents into Bluebeam and messing around with scaling and redrawing a bunch of stuff. I just think this is a lot more streamlined way of doing things and you could probably populate a lot of this stuff into an actual Excel document and assign prices to it so that you can actually make an estimate or I know there's also a way that here in Revit it's actually pretty cool you can create formulas and it will actually calculate costs if you assign them to a material so I think there's a lot that could be done with the material takeoff tool but anyways that's just a quick rundown of the stuff that I understand at this point so I hope that will be helpful to you in the future at some point